There is a very interesting custom in a Jewish wedding. Before the ceremony, the groom goes to the room where his bride is waiting and covers her face with a veil. He then leaves her and goes to wait for her under the wedding canopy. The traditional explanation for this is that he is checking to make sure he has got the right bride. Why? Because Jacob was the victim of a last-minute switch by his father-in-law, who substituted Leah, the older of his two daughters, for Rachel, the one Jacob loved. Jacob discovered the deception after the marriage with Leah. Although not happy with being swindled, Jacob decided to accept his fate, nevertheless, and later also married Rachel, the bride of his choice. But if today's groom were indeed checking the bride to make sure he's got his choice, shouldn't he uncover her face, never taking his eyes off her? There must be more to it. And indeed there is. The Kabbalah teaches that Leah represents fate. She is the woman who Jacob ended up marrying. Rachel represents choice. She is the woman who Jacob chose to marry. When you get married, the truth is that although you think you are marrying the person of your choice, there is bound to be some element of surprise. Later you will discover that you ended up also with a side of your spouse you never knew you were getting. And this side may exactly be what you needed. Leah was not Jacob's bride of choice, but she was actually a great source of blessing to him. When the groom covers the bride, he is demonstrating that he knows there is a secret side to the bride that he did not choose, but that has been faded to him from God. Covering his chosen bride uncovers God's plan and presence in their marriage and brings great blessing to their love.